See this? This stack of books here, the height of a small child. Yeah. Thick Gatsby on top. Great read. This stack is just my fiction. And then this stack here. Um, it tumbled over, so now it's two little, well, two smaller stacks. Is stuff that is slightly educational and or biographical. And then we turn to the stuff that I've managed to fit on the shelf. I put all my cookbooks first. Because that's what I'm currently studying. Then all my theater books. Not plays, but theater books, you know. Stuff on drama. Introduction to drama. The Oxford Illustrated History of Theater. Introduction to drama, etc., etc. Got some skit stuff. Uta Hagen, great, great acting coach. And then there are my plays. My paper spines. You can tell the which ones were shows that I was actually in because they're really beat up. Chicago from high school. Dracula from Longwood. Jack and the Giant from Fort Lee. Precious memories. And they're not really organized by author. They're more so organized by theme. Like, August Wilson is right next to this woman, um, Karina Marsha Leslie. That's my black theater section. Yeah, it's really small right now. We've got the American guys, O'Neill, Williams. Wilder, Miller, Odets. <sighs> then I try to, and I'm sorry I'm <sighs> exhaling so much, it's <sighs> not acceptable. <laughs> then, um, we get older, I don't know who wrote Amadeus, but, um, yeah, whoever Peter Schaefer is, he just sort of got stuck here. Um, then we jump way, way back in history to Aristophanes. Then we jump up to Chekhov. And then this is a compilation. I believe there's some Ibsen, some Chekhov in here. Yeah. Some Aeschylus. Oh, hey. Then there's my Marlowe. We got Dr. Faustus and Edward II. And then my Shakespeare. Shakespeare. That's a complete work from like 18 something. And it's in really bad shape, so I keep it in a plastic bag. And that's my complete works that. Um, will one day be a family heirloom. And then we go into my poetry section. So I have my La Boems from high school. I'm actually in one of these. And Poe, of course. Then there's the art section. So I have my Erotic Art of the Masters, Coca Shastra, Plessia d'Amour, Hips, Rare Birds, 100 Young Americans. And then there's my crafty section. So, you know, my book on looming. Macrame. Generation T. And I'm just trying to decide what to put in next. And as you can see, these books are not all going to fit on the shelf. Oh, yeah, and I got my music books over there. They need to go somewhere up there with, like, the theatery stuff. Life is complicated when you're a bibliophile. Anywho. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. And, um, I'm editing a video. I did another video of me cooking, but it came out to, like, 40 minutes, and... I'm I'm trying to edit it down. Like I've edited it down. Edited it. Edited it. Edited. Edited it. Yeah, I guess that's right, but it just sounds weird. To about 28 minutes. So I'm thinking I'm just going to have to do it in two uploads. I mean.
That's life sometimes. Uh, oh yeah, and bottom shelf. Oh god, the lighting's too low. But in there I have a copy of the Quran. A couple of Bibles, all of which the, Bi the Bibles are turned upside down. <laughs> and um, I have a Book of Mormon in here. Bibles are pretty easy to come by because people give them away. I had to buy my Quran though. Yeah. But yeah, th this video is getting long now. So um, I'll see you later for real this time. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. Tell me what books you're reading. Deuces.